everyone, my name is Tiffany Polk and I'm a partner in Professional Clothier with the Tom James Company. And I'm happy to be coming to you today on First Service Residential's Lifestyle at Home. Today it's all about the ladies and I'm going to be talking body type and how to best accentuate yours. So let's get started. Your body type is really the outline of your structure. Therefore, understanding your body's type helps with selecting clothes, tweaking it a bit to match your personal style. But the idea here is to make sure the outfits that we choose sit beautifully and proportionately to enhance your body's natural look. Short, tall, slender, curvy, they don't determine your body type. Your body parts and their subsequent measurements do. So generally your measurements, that is your shoulders, your waist, and your hips are gonna group you into one of five different body types. The carrot shape, the pear shape, the hourglass shape, the rectangle shape, the apple shape. So how do you know where you fit? Let's discuss each one. The apple shapes up first, a heavier upper body in comparison to your lower body. You have this body type if you have bigger shoulders and a larger bust line. So what outfits are gonna work best for you? Since most of your weight and the concentration is above your hips, your midriff tends to appear heavier with the remaining body weight sitting here and maybe a minimal waistline. So the idea here is to take attention away from that part and highlight your strengths. My recommendations, flaunt your legs with dresses or skirts where you can add and wear tops with V necklines to create that elongated illusion of your torso. A line or even empire necklines are also very flattering. Monochrome looks, dark colors, full or even three quarter length sleeves are also really great options. I would avoid figure hugging dresses like my own, even tops with skinny jeans. You could even try and replace that traditional waist belt for an upper waist belt here to accentuate your more flattering figure. So what about my body type? I am an hourglass shape. My shoulders and my hips are similar in size, while my waist is smaller than both. So dresses that cinch at the waist or are a bit more form-fitting tend to work well. The V-neck, sweetheart neckline, also very flattering. Tops and blouses can be worn untucked, tucked in, you're not really limited too much on your pant or skirt options. To flaunt my waistline though, I would typically go with a belt that's at my natural waistline or even below my belly button, but either way, they all kind of look great. The pear shape. You fit into this category if your shoulders are more narrow than your hips. The best clothing options for you are those wide leg garments, so palazzo pants, even those bell bottom pants. A-line fit and flare dresses and skirts with patterned, even ruffled tops that are gonna add some definition to your upper body while slimming your lower body. Skinny jeans, loose tops help create that hourglass illusion as well. And the only thing to avoid here are tight or form-fitting tops with the looser bottoms. Again, we're thinking balance. If your bottom half is larger, keep that part simple. Build or layer your top half. The rectangle shape. Very well balanced from top to bottom, shoulders, waist, and hips are all pretty similar in size, so this one's pretty straightforward. Your arms and your legs here are going to be your assets, so focus on enhancing those. It's like the hourglass figure minus the defined waistline, so we're going to choose A-line skirts, ruffled and layered tops, dresses that add definition to your bottom, and necklines that add meat to your upper body. So sleeveless, strapless, sweetheart necklines, anything that kind of adds some fun to the top, blazers and long jackets, all of that will add the much needed drama that your look is begging for. The only thing to be mindful of here is overdoing it. Too many ruffles, too many accessories. They're all gonna look too consuming and sort of swallow you whole. Finally, we have the carrot shape or the inverted triangle as some people know it as. These are typically my athletes. Your shoulders are much broader than your hips, and your arms and your legs need to be enhanced as much as we can with a focus on adding definition to your hips and bottom half. So let me explain. Minimalistic tops, V-neck tops, sweetheart necklines, strapless, they all look great and work great with anything from the skinny jean to the dress pant to the pencil skirt. The key here is to keep any ruffles or pleating or layered details to your bottom half. Dresses and skirts that naturally have that inverted V look to them will be your go-tos. Remember, all of this is about balance. No matter what your body shape is, you wanna keep the larger parts simple and the more smaller parts more dramatic and more outstanding. So we're striking an elegant and professional balance in the workplace while flattering our natural body shapes.
I hope you picked up some useful tips and tricks for styling your specific body type. And thank you so much for joining me today on First Service Residential's Lifestyle at Home. I'll see you soon.